So our study found an increased odds of acute kidney injury with the combination of vancomycin peptazo, um, and it was across the board, so against vancomycin alone, against peptazo alone, and against vancomycin with cefepime or meropenem. Um, and pretty consistently across the board, about a threefold increase in the odds of acute kidney injury for that combination. So a lot of patients receive this combination therapy, um, and even though the acute kidney injury is usually reversible, um, it occurs within the first like four to seven days of therapy generally, at least in these studies that we included. And so this is an opportunity for stewardship to come in and limit that duration of therapy and be able to hopefully decrease the acute kidney injury incidents that we're seeing if we can narrow therapy before that four to seven day window. So if we can get patients off of the combination of vancomycin peptazo, which is like this very broad spectrum uh, empiric therapy that we use for coverage before we know what that particular infection is, what's causing that infection. Um, if we can get either rapid diagnostic tests to, so we can actually identify that infection, what bug that is, ca uh, is causing that infection, and then what therapy would be ideal for that infection, um, and narrow that therapy down, get them off vanco and piptazo, um, either to vancomycin itself, if it's a MRSA, or if it's, you know, a, a different antibiotic or not that combination would decrease uh, the chances of acute kidney injury.